Here we are, back in the Taylor Park. Oh, on I the did. side of that paper. Yeah. Right. And he's doing the math by hand. Because nothing gives me more joy. Nothing gives me more 12-foot-long brown trout. <laughs> Rap coming down the river doesn't scare the shit out of the fish. <laughs> See you tomorrow, up, JB's. we will be out there. All right. I'm bringing the Maverick. <laughs> After that. No, uh, we stopped somewhere. Maybe we had to apply more Rain-X. Yeah, because so by this time, <laughs> the, um, so Ben heavily Rain-Xes his windshield because when it rains, what it is, when it rains, it pours. When it rains, when it have windshield wipers. so if it's dry, the windshield wipers work. Right. When it's wet, ironically, that's when they decide it's inappropriate to work because something's getting water on it and shorting. So I have to replace the motor. <laughs> But if I'm being completely honest, the AC is more important to me than the windshield wipers working. <laughs> so I had so much over salt. Safety. I've yeah. always said the same thing. Exactly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, coming from someone who has neither a comfortable or safe car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually love Carl's truck. Um, but your AC don't work either. No. Um, so I had so much salt, I stopped and pressure washed the day before we left to just mm-hmm. kind of get some of it off. And I pressure washed a majority of my Rain-X off. So we're in Georgia, and it's like, you know, in, in Star Wars, they jump to light speed, and you see everything flying by. That's what it's supposed to do, and it's just like pulling up on my window. It's getting foggy and dark, and there's just like light. I'm like kind of blinded, and I'm, I'm kind of like, what's going on? Mark's like, how do you feel about stopping and putting some more Rain-X on? I was like, that's a great <laughs> idea. So we pull over, squeegee the window dry grab an old shirt and like wipe it dry, it dry. and then <laughs> one layer of rain x buff it off two layer of rain x buff it off into the third for good measure and then it like worked gucci um i don't i don't do we even eat dinner i don't think we even stopped if we did it was super quick and no at I that think point we, yeah like on a trip like that no. and it sounds like you guys had a fantastic time <laughs> we did but i i know what that saturday was that saturday yeah. was Let's get right back on the fucking road. Let's get yeah, yeah. right. Yep. Like, uh, enough chit chat. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Wheels up here. from when yep. I left Stand him to when stairs. I got him. <laughs> Normally, it's like if you go straight through with like just gas and bathroom breaks and like a drive through, it'll take you ten hours from my door to get to the cabin. We did it in fifteen on Saturday. Um, by the time you know, because like, like we stopped and had lunch with the Drakes, mm-hmm. you know, we, we had to go out of our way to get drop waiters off. It's not very far, but it's probably an hour by the time you like get there and get back. Um, so. And all the gas stops. And the gas stops. So we're going to talk about that. Heavy Chevy is a thirst trap. God. Um, do, do, do the math on her? Do the math? I know how much money I spent. Yeah. Mental, <laughs> mental math? Yeah. Um, so Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> really? On the highway. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even going to ask what, like, once we started going up mountains, I bet that dropped real quick. <laughs> Super clean. But oh, yeah. I filled up three times getting to Boone. Because um, it's only got a 26 gallon tank. 26. 26. Only. Only. With a screaming V8. Um, and so I filled up. I made, I made it from my house to up. Pooler, Georgia. Yep. From Pooler to. Somewhere in South Carolina, and then no, I made it to Woody's house, and I filled up because we I had like a, a third of a tank left by the time I got to Woody's house, and then I was like, by the time we drive to Asheville, I'm gonna be under a quarter. If you get stuck in snow and you're like on a highway or something, you don't need to be with a quarter tank. So I filled up before I went to Asheville, and by the time I made it to Boone, tank three was gone, and I topped off tank four, drove all week on the one tank in Boone because we didn't drive a whole lot. Everything was pretty close. And then took another two or three tanks. I think I spent about four hundred dollars in gas. Three fifty, four hundred dollars. It's fifty bucks every time I. So, so money. here's Papa Mark. Mm-hmm. There. River Quiver came in a box. I know he was excited. I didn't know that though. Got the burb. Plenty of room. Air condition. He Could put the wipers. The quiver. <laughs> wipers. wipers. Right. Yeah, no doubt. Plenty of storage. <coughs> Excellent gas mileage. Mm-hmm. Very. Clear up to probably 16. No, it's better than that. Oh, no. I could have gotten... Really? It's 
It's the one like when you get like leveled out on the highway and drops down to like four cylinders. Um, But we decided to take the gas guzzler. Mm -hmm. We took the gas guzzler again, like I said, because originally we were tying a raft to the top of my truck. Yes. Which would have been awkward. Right. On the verb. That's why. That was, if it was just the raw ball, I even knew, like, even if this thing comes in a 10-foot thing, it'll fit in the middle of the suburban. Um, but we took the heavy Chevy. We had a grand time. I was proud of her. I'm mm-hmm. sure your car would have made it up the mountain, too, but mine definitely did. That was old Flypole's first road trip. That was, was. Flypole's first road trip. Mm-hmm. It was First fun. time out of state in probably a decade. <laughs> um, one thing I didn't even think to count for was that Flypole might be running the Florida Special on the coolant department. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, never dawned on me.